Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you actually think I'm gonna, you're gonna see me get in these, do you? I don't think, I'm actually, I'm quite convinced of it. There's no way you're gonna be painted with gold paint and slap on a pair of tidy whities and get on that treadmill. You look ridiculous. This way, the ridicule happens completely <laughs> and naturally. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think the concept that painting the skin with a substance and causing uh, death is probably related to other chemicals that may have been included in the past in, in certain substances that were put on the skin. In Elizabethan times, lead was an essential ingredient in makeup. Wearers died from lead poisoning, but it was slow and painful. We're going to do a test patch on Jamie to ensure the gold powder doesn't cause any complications. Oh, yeah. So this is the color we're looking to match there, gold boy. Yeah. Want to make sure that you're shiny. Well, we can do that, and it takes at least three coats. So we'll get successively uh, more dense with the pigment as okay. we go up. From what we've been told, the real danger here is from heat exhaustion. Apparently, at uh, celebrations like Carnival, where people paint their whole bodies with paint, there's a lot of people uh, passing out. Yeah. Uh, so we should uh, monitor your temperature. Absolutely. While you're, while you're painted. Yeah, that would be the only thing I would worry about with this. And I, I, I don't believe for a second the, the little the small patch at the base of the spine. That, uh, that sounds like nonsense. Even the small danger that you'll overheat on a cool morning like this, I think it's important that we have uh, an EMT team standing by. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, there's only two ways to monitor your core body temperature through your ear and the rectal thermometer. I'm just going to have you take some breaths. Big breath with your mouth. Do you, do you have a preference? Yes, I would prefer the ear. Uh, <laughs> take your blood pressure. Especially if I'm running on a treadmill. Yeah, I was wondering Ow. about that. 134 by 88. That's fine. Getting you used to it. Don't push so hard. Jamie's vitals are normal, and there are no ill effects from the test patch. Oh, that's going to be cool. You'll end up with a Jamie suit. Right, smoke with fire. Five, four, three, two, go. First, uh, for some kind of, uh, some, some basis to test off of, I should work out for, you know, uh, for about half of what my normal workout would be. And so let's just say that that I'll do 10 minutes without the gold paint. Okay, so heart rate 136. His temperature. And we'll measure we body temperature and, and uh, body you know, temperature, heart rate, and everything, stuff. all uh, everything that we uh, we can measure that's important. And ready, uh, and then we can we'll have that to compare with. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to be able to. Do you want me to stop for that, that or what? <laughs> Here, you put it in your ear. Not, put I it in your ear. Push that button. <laughs> all right, cool. Ninety-six point eight. When we get <clears throat> overheated, the way the body responds to heat is by losing sweat and also by losing heat through our blood vessels. We're right at the halfway mark. Jamie's blood oxygen is 80%. That's one mile. And his body temperature is 97.8 degrees. And we're All right perfectly normal. Yeah, we're right at 10 minutes here, too. Okay, and... we shut it off? Yeah. Do you think there'll be any problems with getting painted with gold paint? No, Unless not at all. Um, if I get oh, yeah. thoroughly sealed up, it's it's no doubt going to uh, keep me from perspiring, which means that I'm not going to be able to uh, be physically active as 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 long. So. No, no, no. Go put those on first, and then we'll just paint it. I'm not going to put those on until the last minute. But you gotta put them on over the gold paint? Now, come on, you can get, listen, you're already naked and running on a treadmill painted with gold paint. There's no such thing as shame or embarrassment here. <laughs> Go put on the gold shorts. Come on back, I'll paint the sun. I 
I got you some detail brushes for like, you know, the insides of your ears and stuff. <laughs> yeah. The human fresco. <laughs> Go Adam. I'm having so much fun. So Jamie, I am actually painting right over the small of your back in flagrant disregard of the gold finger myth. I hope you'll be all right. As a dermatologist, I, I would highly recommend that this is not done by any, <clears throat> any of you uh, who are listening to this program. And you could develop heat stroke, which is a very severe Ill illness and can lead to death. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. These things are kind of, they squeak when I walk. <laughs> Okay, look at this. You starting to feel guilty? <laughs> Are you feeling any um, heat sensations or dizziness or anything like that? Right now, the only thing I, I feel actually kind of cold and, uh, and, and like shivers, which I, is not a sign of, of heat stroke, I don't believe, but uh, I do feel something kind of, of course, it's all, it feels weird. I is guess it? that's all it is. <laughs> it feels strange to move because oh, it pulls. God. Otherwise, it just feels cold. All right. So, careful about moving. Time for a checkup. Okay, so Jamie's blood oxygen saturation is 100%, and he's definitely <laughs> still breathing. That's another myth busted. Or is it? The amount of, of oxygen that's absorbed through the skin is minimal. The amount of carbon dioxide that we lose through the skin is also insignificant. So in terms of respiration through the skin, this is really not an important factor. Hmm. Let's try it on the other arm. 140 over 110 on that arm. So that means my blood pressure is elevated? Yeah. Let's try it like we did before. This so wasn't part of the plan. Afraid not. 140, 110. 140, Jamie seems to be suffering bizarre blood pressure fluctuations. So what do you, what's the problem? What's, what do you guys... This is something that worries you guys? Yeah. Where's the danger zone? I got a bottom number about 108. It's close enough. There you go. Yeah, it's really strange, to tell you the truth. Hello, I'm Shirley Eaton. I expect you might remember me as Jill Masterson in Goldfinger, the James Bond favorite film. Well, as you can see, I'm very much alive. Shirley survived. So what's wrong with Jamie? His blood pressure has hit worrying heights. The diastolic pr blood pressure. That's the lower number, and that is that's a part of, of what the the, uh, the the heart is doing at uh, on on the return. Is yes, that the it? Pressure it should be low because when you squeeze, that's the the top number. That's the pressure in your veins and your arteries, when your arteries in particular. When you squeeze, the heart squeezes, the blood pumps through, yeah. and the heart relaxes. So that number obviously drops. You know, 140 to 110. That's a lower number, but that's still high. 110 is a high number for a relax. It should be. 80, I mean, 120 over 80 is kind of normal. That morning wasn't pleasant. I, I, I almost felt like I had flu. I suppose becoming hot made me feel... Um, and I suppose a little fear, with everybody saying, we must be careful with Shirley, we must be careful with Shirley. <laughs> I feel similar to what I, I would, I guess, right before I was coming down with a flu or something. You know, it feels a little strange. Could there be some truth to the myth after all? I would have to say it's weird. Um, I feel really, I'm starting to get really uncomfortable. And, um, uh, you know, but I can't really say why. It's, it's mainly the, these variations of being chilled in some areas and, uh, and feeling like uh, almost burning hot in others. The only way I can explain this is again by the occlusion of the skin causing an increase in body temperature and then the body reacting in a fight or flight mechanism and increasing its blood pressure and heart rate. Body temperature stuff is is really uh, it's not something to play around with. This is uh, this what we are doing here is potentially dangerous. Now right. I could die, uh, you know, if I'm not careful with this thing. 
You guys probably wouldn't recommend 10 minutes of strenuous or well, medium I mean, exercise for someone with a blood pressure. I mean, I think it's kind of dangerous myself. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, 110 standing up just, uh, <clears throat> you know, I would, I would recommend not. Hi, General, this is Paramedic 920 wishing to do well, a consult makes sense. with you. I mean, we're is modified. that okay? We're going to get a second opinion on that. We're just concerned about the pressure, which we checked several times with no change. Medic 920, I copy you. Um, even though physiologically it doesn't make sense to have those changes diastolic, but if it's really um, just by covering with latex um, paint, but if really that's the number that you got, then I would agree with you, advise the patient not to do that. Over. Jamie's symptoms are bizarre. My life signs are, are showing questionable numbers as well as as I certainly don't feel normal uh, I feel feel like I'm I'm basically about to become ill mm -hmm. uh, uh, I I could say it's almost like I'm a little lightheaded and I feel I feel okay well there yeah. we go you want to start rubbing it we're gonna pull the plug on this Best one. thing for you to do is probably rub it with your fingers the hairs, what hair is no, left. if we can get the head first, that would be really good. Yeah. Right. Okay, that's just plain strange. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's where man, the, that the he would be contained the most. <laughs> oh, man. No, uh, I'm sorry, I'm, am I hurting you? No, no, go for it, but it's, uh, it feels like I'm being skinned. <laughs> Horrible. Taking the paint off was a nightmare. It's best to skin your Jamie before you prepare him for the frying pan. One of the makeup ladies and a wardrobe lady came with me into my dressing room, into the bathroom, and we just they just scrubbed me down with sponges and soap, and I was all pink and sore. I think you got something here, though, because we all kind of thought that this was going to be just no big deal. Yeah, it got nerve-wracking quite fast. Yes, it did. Are you starting to feel a little bit better, Jamie? Feels better. He was totally beet red before, and now he's you know, a gray color. Before, I think it would have been very bad. <laughs> it wouldn't have gone well. Jamie's blood pressure fluctuations are obviously related to the latex. Exactly how remains a mystery. So how do you feel? Much better. Yeah. You know, I don't think it would have, would have been a problem, really. It, it, but it, it definitely felt weird, and you know, we're not. You know, none of us here are doctors, and it's not a controlled experiment. It's it's, you know, seeing the, the least little sign, uh, like a blood pressure rise, and we don't know what it means for sure, is is a, a good strong reason to pull the plug. Okay, just relax your arm. We're gonna give him one last check, okay, finger, just to be sure. Forty over ninety. Okay, that's, that's where we started. Woohoo! Back to normal. Back online. Back on duty. Okay, hundred percent. That's good. And uh, normal sinus rhythm at seventy-six. That's all good. It definitely had a, a, a an effect. You know, it, there was clear there was something going on there. And so, you know, whether somebody would die, I doubt it. Glad you're back. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Making the, right. making the world safer for television. <laughs> After Goldfinger, I made uh, seven more films, and I wondered, you know, who started this myth? Apart from the fact that we know that it's unpleasant to be um, painted gold, I thought, haven't they seen any of my recent films? I'm still very much alive. The irony of, of show business is I was in that film Five Minutes, the shortest role I ever did, and it's the one that made me a piece of cinema history. <laughs> Things get hairy as Jesse turns a 1970s tea bucket into a snow-eating beast on Monster Garage. Next. If Gillette is the best a man can get, then the pressure is on in Orange County. American Chopper. Tomorrow. It's the high-octane fight to the finish as Boyd's junkyard dog enters the final stretch. American Hot Rod. Tomorrow.